So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> Look at there this crap. Go, How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Of her images of I can hear the class laughing at like me now. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point it remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. 
The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Miss. Excuse me, Mr. Jeff. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! 
I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. I did it. Now, I actually did it. Can you give me an example it. of a photographer who perfectly I'm a captured human the time human condition machine. in black and white? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. the early 1800s. Your generation. So I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I- I'm not avoiding, just- Biding time? Waiting for the- Elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Excuse me. I'm not... Exactly. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel. You know I don't tease. I hate that. 
Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that ever. thing down! I need a hammer to break it open! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please? No, he does not buy that at all. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check. I came to no slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Bring it, Brock. 
I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, Sammy, I'm sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Dude. Maybe I shouldn't have... Home sweet home. My Looks like Dana looks great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Black... Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. You are ridiculous. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Uh, I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. Answer you what? 
Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and Must then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. This shit. Ow! Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have... Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. Yo, Max, check it out. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez, you're a little miss-sensitive today. 
I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class. And life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh God, you need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new, I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me, worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Man, are you serious? 
Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. So, who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my... angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. I haven't seen this place in five years. I should be able to find the tools I need here. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. 
Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Are you shitting me? That asshole's everywhere. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I wasn't there. Come on, even after five years, I can still tell when you're lying. Okay, I was there, Sherlock. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. Song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. 
Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just. Coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. By the way, I have proof you got all up in Kate Marsh's face today. Surveillance proof. What? You best stay out of my work. Then stay out of my life. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? I haven't been here in forever, so why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa, this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. I got you. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. You sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I'm glad I took his photo with Kate. Just in case. Why was he all up in her shit? He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? What files? David stashes his secret X files in there. I saw them once, but he secures them now. He kind of creeps me out. I bet the truth is out there in his files. Most likely, but it's good you didn't find his files. He would go ballistic. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? 
Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass.
Oh, uh, hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. It's not true. I wanted to help, but... But... Whatever. It's done. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of The October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Um, 
Hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything when David harassed me yesterday? I wanted proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Did you go? Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... 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 That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. Yes! 
another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Max, come on up. Horan, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. David talking to Nathan cannot be...
breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware makes me feel 13 again. And there she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelet for the young lady staff. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Had plenty. No beer. You'll love this. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat. To you, for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh god, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox?
Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy! I need details! Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more, something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That's the best song. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. 
I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and pull to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Later, Mom. Bye, Joyce. Freedom! I feel bad about Kate. She'll survive you not taking that one call. Now follow me, young Squire Max, so we can seriously tap your power and rule the world. I hope Kate doesn't get upset at an answer. to get your present. You can just back time up. We'll have to test you now to make sure. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. Boom, only three bottles left. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op.
Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel. One more bottle to go. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Voila, now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Voila, now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes sir. Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Now, Max, aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero! Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister.
Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash, that's all. That's it? No, I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. 
The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ugh. Definitely use this bad boy. Damn, something is blocking the drum. Come on, Max. <sighs> Hurry! Please get Now away. I can finally move the drum. <gasps> to help lift Chloe up. Damn, that was close. You saved me again. Crazy. We were totally bombed, right? You okay? I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. I don't see how. It's so friggin' random. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, it means... Shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week, and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? I shouldn't have said anything. 
You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Soldier, you don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some food from Nathan. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. Think, baby. Miss Grant, Think. can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? This can't be that Neither, unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. I can't wait for fall either. It's all about the atmosphere. You're the artist and I'm the scientist. Like yin and yang. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Hey, Warren. <laughs> Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. So you I can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos, but you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? Not exactly. Never mind. Sorry. I have to go and work on my photo. You can talk to me anytime. And Max, can I talk to you about Kate? I assume you know about this viral video. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. 
Have you talked to her? No. I just don't want Kate Marsh to be the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Bo. 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 Tina, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like ass. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Or paparazzi. I want that photo whore, or I get nasty. Too late. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Can I sit down, please? I don't know. Can you? Let her have the desk. That's all she's got. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen! Everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Is, it that? Is this for real? Bitch flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Who is that up there? Ah! Whoa! She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again.
Yes. doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Did you come to get another Pulitzer shot like yesterday, Max? I've been bullied too, Kate. And even when I got picked on, I stood up for myself. I know you only stand up for yourself. That's why you let David get in my face, like everybody here. That's not true. People want to help you. Yes. They want to help kill me, and they can get their wish. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. You are such a liar. You wanted to help by ignoring my phone call? I was with Chloe, and she was having a serious problem too. I'm sorry. Apparently her problem is worse than mine, so why even bother with me? I'm done anyway. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson? I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She was upset Miss Caulfield didn't return her calls. She felt rejected by the school. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again.
Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy.
in the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Hey, Max. I, I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped. I can. I just wish I could have stopped her. Are you okay? I'm just, like, numb. I, I've never seen anybody actually die. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Where did she go? My lips are like sealed. Or Victoria will seal them for me. No doubt. See you later. Ah, oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Look at the lens and say nut. Gotcha. Me. 
I know, I have a set of keys on me. Max the Ninja strikes again. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. <laughs> it didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just... act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. And notice that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine, uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm, like, still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max. Who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her? I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? It's 
so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Dead end. Nothing here. Boring. Crap. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. I hate that formal and smell. Ooh, sugar. Only three more items to go. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Thanks, fish. 
Nice work. Here's the sodium chloride box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. You're halfway home, Max. Okay, I have the can. Only one more ingredient left. This is like a scene in a horror film. The tape is mine. Now it's time to show Chloe that Matt. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Ooh, literally. Yes, time to blow shit up. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Then she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shot only two more files to go. Chloe, say hello to my little friend. Say goodnight to the bad guy. I certainly can't use this. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nothing. And nothing here. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. Weird. This app. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now.
Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. You really wanna take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, Boys so girls. I better follow her evil plan. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated.
Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? I don't know. Well, I do, okay? So just listen to Captain Chloe. I'm trying. As long as we don't waste this power. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and two. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! Hide. We have to go now! my power or just look for a hiding spot or both where are they hello hello anybody there Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. 
I'm serious. I heard something over here. We are so invisible. Let's bail. Bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into the car. Always remember this moment. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. 
Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. I'm so going to best unfriend you for that. I love that Chloe is so fearless. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Bird, be gone! Fly, you fool! I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Oh, bacon. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is, smart. She always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. 
<laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Joyce might as well have wrote that it might be a useful password. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. I better tell Chloe about this now. Ugh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Nice breakfast. David, you're back already? 
I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Listen, we don't know that David did anything and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting. Or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates. Or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything. For his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Worst interview ever. Some punks messed with the train tracks, and now I have to wait for three days until I get my cargo. Time is money for a guy like me. Oh. Oh yeah, that sucks. Wish I could drive right out of goddamn Arcadia Bay. The whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, that slut suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview 
over. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview old. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel? She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Nope, I don't want to go there. So ominous. Good Lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan. That will be fun to take a road trip to the drive-in with Warren. Max needs more fun. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. How you doing, Maxine? 
I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He and that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What the fuck now? You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set, throw! Get the treat, treat boy! The meat is in the street. Oh no! Please, please do not let that poor dog be hit. I bet he's fine. I'm sure he is. Come on, we definitely don't have time to waste now. Oh, please, please don't let that dog be hurt. Or worse. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you dare me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. 
I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on the stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! You totally defended Step Stalker! Fuck everybody. Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Grow up. And I'm not trying to be mean, but you're not the only one in Arcadia Bay with problems. Kate Marsh killed herself, you know? Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life, get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me, and Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Hands, Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crepes. I'm 18 years like old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. 
So how many eggs? Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You're ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from... dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? Score! I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys! Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and joys and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Going to be wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. I know, sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe.
It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. You don't really blame William, do you? For getting me the hybrid I wanted for my sweet 16? No, I blame the asshole who cut me off and sent me into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is... Such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe... I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, 
when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? <laughs> drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know, you would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. <coughs> oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Ah, oh, here's the DVD.
I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was.
Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Chloe. I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together, forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Sorry, William. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but... Come on. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, 
I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the... Yep, locked from the other side. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, whatcha hiding? Open sesame. Oh, maps. 
notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Score. Back to Chloe now. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. Excuse me, just one picture, please. Click, another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Yo, Chloe, are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So you don't hate me for what I said to the principal? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. One photo, for posterity. That's so ironic that Warren asked- Hey Brooke, how are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay, Brooke, um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Good, Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. I had to clear 
way another... How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Get that food in your belly. Everything is changing here. Yeah. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather and the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. This can only be Nathan's room. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot.
Now I need to find Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> you are so fucking dead! Get off me, bro! Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh, oh my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You! And you! You're all dead! Let's go. Now! Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try... Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh... Th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um, Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grow up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, 
and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. Ah, oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just Don't talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! Oh my god! Gosh! Yeah, you actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! Oh, it hurts! Chloe! You shot him! I know. You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... we just want the code for your account book. Now! You're fine! Whatever! Just... just put the goddamn gun down! You already shot me, all right? There. Now leave me alone, all right? Just... just get out of my life! Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. This could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. <sighs> yes, Max. Chloe, are you okay? Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about shooting Frank in the leg. Please don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. I better focus on this. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Yes, the game is on. 
Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. And that's all she wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Oh, yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Oops, bad code. Four. Now let's check out all the messages from the week Kate was drugged. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Chloe. This is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Chloe, 
I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Driver strikes again. to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This bunker is... in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Hell is this? Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System.
Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. All of these files. Slow down! Wait for me! I know exactly where I'm going! Look! This is it! This is it! Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop! Look! Please, no. Oh, oh, that smell. Rachel. Oh. No, Rachel, no, no, please, not her. so much how can she be dead what kind of world does this who does this <laughs> I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Shit! This is like 
that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Hey, Max! Oh, 
I'm not in the mood, but still, this could be an interesting shot. Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. I, I don't know if it is. Yes. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me and everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cares she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. I'm not the only problem child at Blackwell. This is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect. Okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw. And heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max? I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. It was good talking to you, Victoria, as usual. Eat a dick, Max. You're just jealous of me because I actually do the things you can't. I put my photographs out there while you hide behind your lame retro self. At least tell me where Nathan is. Uh, why do you want to know? Principal Wells wanted to see us Monday. It's no big deal. Then why ask me? I haven't even seen him tonight. Adios. Au revoir. Victoria about Nathan. I mean, she might be evil, but. That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. Not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. 
Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, guys. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. But I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy, and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. Victoria! Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Oh. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now! Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Over here, quick. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no.
previously on Life. Looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! my shot but please don't worry we have all the time in the world for now I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie yes I still hate that word but I love the purity of your own image not like Rachel who was always looking in the wrong places poor Rachel Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and 
expect a cohesive style or theme, but he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised, or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max 
I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Artists don't drive teenagers to suicide for any bullshit muse. You trained Nathan to drug Kate, to take photos of her. That's why she's dead. Which makes me sad, Max. I will miss her. Kate had such a strong spirit, it was very satisfying to break it down. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. When you told the principal that I made Kate cry, I thought you almost had me. It's good our esteemed Principal Wells is like most administrators. A closet drunk. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Rachel Amber. Hmm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. 
There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. With a heart I'm bad with a heart A heart beneath and I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh... Okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes Contest. to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artist. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else and take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do.
Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo and... Maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. beginning of the end for Jefferson. The beginning of the end for Jefferson. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. I have to admit, I love being... It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. We're 
almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited to. Fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Christ, another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wowzer, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... weird. I knew about all this. When I was younger, I did a lot of... How do these galleries afford to rent here? This makes me feel so that is sad. Different. Exposure. I was back in high school. Me too. Makes me want to go buy an instant I camera. So Damn. Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Hey, 
Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm, Chloe! I'm can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... You're Max Caulfield, right? Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. What am I doing? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Fuck you. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He, he burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you.
Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. This final dose won't hurt. What? Damn! And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh... You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Would you... Uh, take... one last picture of me? I... I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but... I think you've finally learned from me. I promise you. Uh, excuse me, but my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over! You are not going to stop me! You are not going to stop me! Oh lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. Here. 
that he won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. Hold on, Max. So, where is Chloe? David, um... She was pretty stressed out, so... Um, she went to go... Um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air and use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. Okay, teacher. Freedom! Holy shit! This storm is real. I need to find Warren. Yes! Warren! Can you hear me? Never mind! Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. I can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God, I'm gonna call it hell of You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say... I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or... I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, it's coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry.
That guy is trapped. I have to help everybody I can. Not Evan. I have to stop him from getting hurt. It's all over now. How can I get out of here? He's dead. Electrocuted. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency oh, broadcast Max. system is now in effect. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. So well, glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I... I hate to say I'm glad to see you. But I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. 
I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because... because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did... did he hurt you? Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. Nathan just needed mental help. Now he's dead. And Jefferson is done. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but... I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's... There's a reaction. Whenever you reversed or, or altered time, maybe you caused a chain reaction. Even in the environment. All this destruction is my fault. Give me a break. You sure the hell didn't give yourself time travel powers? I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? I'm in the middle of it with you, so thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Hey. Be careful out there. Watch out for Joyce. And Frank. I got this, Max. Go on. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. For this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, be Warren. Connected to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe! 
I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm not running from you. This is when I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, Max. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm going to do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is going to turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to end your life. I did. For you, I... I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us, and he can actually stop him. Right? Is that why you stuck up for him? Because you think he can help us, really? Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just... Explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. <laughs> Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just 
Look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're a Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So, without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Then for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look! The storm is getting bigger now. And it's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. This is stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... I've got your back, Rex. Whoa! Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm but back in class. As he what the hell? Us. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. And I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This color, might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is the messed human up. condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Gloria. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as Wait, tortured, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. I don't care if this is a dream or a nightmare. I'm taking this picture. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much. And we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's my selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. can't be real. I don't believe it. Hey, Kate. Max. How could you let me jump off a roof? You were the only person I trusted here. But you never really listened to me. Now I'm never going to heaven. Instead, you've stuck me in hell. Alone forever. No! Kate, I, I was only trying to save you. This is all I need.
This one is for Samuel. Ich bin ein bisschen mehr als ein 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 Ich Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after Max. me again. You used no. to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. Max? Please understand, Max. Max! Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. After everything I did for you, and you accuse me of making our sweet, naive Kate Marsh cry, art is supposed to make you cry. And you will. What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor. For life. I real. I your professor. For life. I realize now you'll never be an artist, much less a photographer. Come here, Max. Class is dismissed. Hey, Max. 
classes dismissed. I miss those days when you looked at me in class with those wide eyes. I want to be your professor again. I can teach you so much. Look into the lens, Max. Turn right. Now left. Show me the love. And the hate. Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Well. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Attention. I regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates, Max Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. Maybe I'll wake up. I'm out to play. Come out to play. Hey, baby. Who wants to go away? Go away? Hey! Hey! From that scholarship in Victoria instead of Max. Wait, Max. I knew I, I should have given that scholarship to Victoria instead of Max. Oh. Instead of Max. Come over here, young Max. Victoria instead of Max. Do you have a scarf I can borrow, Max? Come out to play. Chair and think we're going to accommodate her every whim. Oh shit, Warren. That is too weird. Fucking scary. Just in case I need evidence. Too bad you didn't pick up. Kick my wheels, Max. Get in the car. I'll take you for a ride. Samuel wants to make sure you never snoop around his room again. Come over here, young Max. You're my spirit animal. How can I tell Max's parents? Just that she's Max. All night. Come on, Max. Just admit that you're jealous of my service record. Admit it. Bony ass over it. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Max. Max. I wanna share my gift with you. Max. Max. Oh no. Bottles. Max. This might be hell. Max. Oh, Max! Max! Bone meat maggots! Oh, I will be all over that shit. You wanna take pictures? No, they close. Well, these ones aren't too hard to find. Oh man, you should have heard Chloe smack talk you. It was brutal. Oh, when did I get I bad bottle karma? About. If 
You took some of my drugs. Hilarious. Maybe you guys you dug did. up. Is there one more left? <laughs> oh, no, no, Since no, no, Kate no, isn't no, around no, anymore, no, no, I need a volunteer for the dark room. Max. If you took some of my drugs, maybe you do an epic photo shoot. You are at the top of my shit list now, Max. Don't you dare run away. You are at the top of my shit list now, Max. Ma Max! Hey. Hey, Max. Oh, Max! You are at the top of my shit list now, Max. Max. You are at the top of my shit list now, Max. 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 You are at the top of my shit list now, Max. Max. Come back in the dark room. I know you're dying. Max. Me and Rachel are floating down here in the sewer. Come on down. Rachel. Rachel Amber. Just like her last name, I can finally see my the last Chloe one. Man. You and should have heard Chloe smack talk you. It was fresh. Doesn't mean I deserve to die, man. There you are. Be a lot happier. I need proof that bottles were out to get me, just in case. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom's away, I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Wheels. Had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to feast upon. You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! How long will this nightmare go on? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on Retro Grunge.
You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh, Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. She's sure the hell not into me at all. Who cares? I guess we're not her type. <sighs> like Max has a fucking type. But she does. She's into Mr. Jefferson. Now come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Don't kill us, Max! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. I was happy I mean, just being I your friend. That's you. okay if I'm gone. Don't let the screws die. Who, who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? It wasn't my choice. I didn't ask to rewind time. No, but you were happy to use it to get people to like you. <sighs> As if you cared about them. That's true. I wasted my power on trying to be friends with everybody. About time you admitted that. But it's way too late after everything you've done. But I still have great friends. And my power helped some. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? This has to be my destiny to save her. I wouldn't be trapped in here if I didn't believe that. No kidding. Chloe trapped you with her drama. Guns, drugs, Rachel. <sighs> She's just using you, dude. Like, she even asked you to end her life and do what she couldn't do by herself. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. 
This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday. This song fucking rules. Can't- You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Let's talk about your superpower. <laughs> Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bo I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. Max, you better come check out these files. Cowabunga! Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna free- Photobomb! Photo I double dare you. Kiss me now. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you s- Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. Whoa, awesome picture. Chloe, you're back. Kate wasn't the first. Rachel! Oh, Rachel, no, no, please not her! Come on, Max, we're almost there. Out. Oh, Sorry. thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. My storm! I caused this! I caused all of this! I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything! And all I really created was just death and destruction! Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it, and you saved me! Which had to happen, all of this did! Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield! And you're amazing! Max! This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. 